bad. Okay, so don't know this format, so I'm trusting you, Dave, but three runners and a big price outsider. Okay, um, I suppose by anyone's standards, you just pick the top three in the market in the 33 one shot, quality big outsider, but no, I can't bring myself to do it. Um, just not how I roll. And, you know, look, since since winning the derby is the best and fastest dog always won. They haven't at all. I mean, Astute Missile won the last derby at Toaster. Um, full credit to Astute Missile training performance. Absolutely brilliant, done it on the night. Um, but, you know, was he the best dog in that derby? No, of course he wasn't. But that's the romance and beauty of the derby. And the fact of the matter, it's probably harder, well, I've always believed it anyway, it's harder to make the final than win the final anyway. And look at Toaster at the moment. Let's not get the daggers out too much, but the surface is atrocious. It's too loose. They need to stop digging it up every week that they said they were doing. Or, you know, it's just not good for any dog, and it's certainly not good for dogs of this quality. Um, you know, fortunately, there's a lot of a lot of big dogs. I think that probably helps a little bit more with the loose surface, personally. But you know, others might have a different view on that. And certainly, when the racing starts, we're going to see some patterns emerge. I mean, patterns we've seen so far as the track just gets faster and faster and faster as the as the evening meetings go on. The morning meeting on the, the the morning meeting and the trial session after generally is a lot slower. That sort of a pattern I've seen anyway. Um, I know others have tried to find some patterns. It's not making much logical sense at the moment. So maybe we'll cover that when you when we analyse some of the races individually. Um, but yeah, so, you know, what am, I, what am I looking for? Well, on the market at the moment, it's sort of a, you know, betting-wise, Bally Matt Wild just looks too big. You know, he's 50s in a place, 40s general. I still think it's just too big. It, he's an old, you know, classy as you like, absolute class dog. Um, Going to be hard to knock out. Toaster is the type of track I wouldn't trust it overly with all of its, let's say, red herrings and double zeros, if you like. You won't want to be a bang out specialist around toaster and miss it. You, you oh dear. So, Bally Matt Wild, just hard to knock him out. And he's got the ability, he's got the on merit, he could do it. So, I think it's a lot of dog and a lot of price for something that can do it on their own merit um, against anything on their day. So, it is a huge price. Um, do machine, now too short, but I'm with the lads who's been chipping away 66s, 50s, some of them got 80s. Then I've got some just, just too big, as you know, he's young. Um, Got the right style, competition dog, bit of a character about him. Um, you know, like a lot about him. Um, gonna twist it more to the extreme, Tormaker Sydney. Now, you know, everyone knows I like a character and a dodge. Tormaker Sydney is an elite level dodge, he's as good as you can get. You know, he was chasing his brains off against anything. Um, go faster chasing than he would in a solo, you know, but lots to like about him. Maybe he hasn't looked completely sound, but I think that the argument can be said that a lot of the dogs haven't looked great. But I blame the surface, not the dog, you know. So he's been doing it and he's had a couple he was he had a couple of races yet? I think he's had he was definitely a one race and he so and he's had a couple of trials, so he's had a good few looks. Um I think he's taken to the place quite well. Eighties, sixty sixes, um he was a little bit bigger than that as well. Great each way style bet, and I look forward to his heats. He's one of them. I'm not expecting him to win many. He's the type of dog that could go in the fire door and not win a heat and be in the final, but lovely to have those dogs on your side, um, you know, and especially if you're going to place them up, pay the cast, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and the last one, I'm going to twist it even more on uh, Tormaker Sydney. Bitch of Kevin Hutton's got to have something from, from England, don't we, for a bit of fun. Lights out. Um, she's about 18 weeks out of season. She's a little bit heavy for me, but Kev might be planning on that. Um, Kev might have some plans. I mean, yeah, can she win a derby? She's 10,000 to 1 to win the derby, really, let's be honest. But she might just keep nicking thirds. She's that mate, she's that look to her. She, again, she's that you put her in with something top class, she's top class, she's showing top class. If you put her in with A, A2 graders, she's going to look a bit A2, A1 y. You know, she's not really going to do it. So I like her, and I like her bitch out of season. I, she's had some, she's race fit. Change up from one more to toaster. Yeah, you, you, she could pass beaten dogs. She's got that resilience about her. You know, going to have a lot of loose sand kicked up. I don't think it's going to bother her. She will run through a brick wall to chase the leading dog down. So, yeah, I like her. Um, you know, so, again, not not picking what I think is going to win, not picking that. I'm just picking things I like and uh, that I think there could be some, something about following them. So, yeah, we're pre-draw. 
Um, good luck with everyone in the draw. But yeah, I'll go with those if that's all right with you, Dave. And uh, I'll leave the banter to the to the lads. Ciao.